Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. What can I do if I don't, huh? Gonna cry to it's your a papa? new day. Just go away. Alduin is dead. And hopefully, things will return back to normal here in Skyrim. Hmm? I'm really hoping that there are no more dragon attacks. But I'm uncertain after I saw the number of dragons that surrounded me at the throat of the world. Hopefully they've flown off somewhere never to be seen again. But you never know. All right, so I had some things that I needed to do. My first stop is going to be Solitude. I have some things that need to be put in the Dragonborn Gallery. What can I do for you? Here we are. I think I recall I have a Jade statue and some other things that I picked up my adventuring. Hmm, <laughs> right, so that was it. Just two items. Let's see if there's anything else I need to get rid of. Oh, so it did not take the cultist robes. That reminds me, after Alduin's defeat and my return from Sovngarde, I was accosted by two costumed. I hate to call them clowns, but the way they were dressed. I've never seen anything like it. Alright, I guess I will have to place these uh, items myself. Ah, Orion's giving another tour of the museum. to believe. All right, here we are. We'll take this one. And there we have it. A cultist. Or so I'm told cultist that serves Mirak. Soon I'll need to find out who that is. All right. I think I have another stop to make. So exciting oh, when new folk come into town. To do with I please. bet you've had plenty of adventures. But what about those who depend on you so much? Been up to the Blue Palace? It's a sight to see, even if it's filled with fox. Something. Why are you following me? You have vanquished a great evil from Skyrim. You have saved this land and our very souls. Well, you're you're welcome. Good day. Hmm. What's going on here? Hmm. Some are saying the Sigic monks have been seen in Skyrim. They're an ancient order. I had them figured for dead. All right. Why are these gods following me? All right, anyhow. Let me get out of here. 
I heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, fellow who wrote the cookbook. You followed me here to Skyhaven Temple. Something strange is going on. Alright, let me go and check on Esbern and Delphine. I think we have a, uh, perhaps a difference of opinion as to what should have happened with Alderine. Not Alderine, but Parthenax, since I didn't kill him. Burn. Oh, here she comes. We heard the news from Whiterun that you left the city on the back of a dragon. That's a little showy, even for you. <laughs> I had no Since choice. Since you're still alive, I assume you have good news to report. Yes, I used Alduin's portal to travel to Sovngarde. He's dead. Gods above, that's better news than I had hoped. When you walked into my inn that day, I never imagined where it would all lead. Dragons out of legend. Sovngarde. <laughs> what do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War? Or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you. Of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Delphine, it's the other way around. You're either with me or against me. I'm the one who holds the power here. Just as the prophecy said, I knew you could do it. I believed in you, and yet I still didn't think I'd live to see this day. Oh, you've set up a little area Thank over you. here. Thank you, Dragonborn. Oh, you're welcome. You've done a great service for us all. You shouldn't be here, unless you decided to bring Parthenax to justice. Oh, really? About Parthenax. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Why does he need to die? Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War. Crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the dragon cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. Hmm. All right, I mean, I'm not going to argue with you. The only problem that I had is when I was on the throat of the world, I was surrounded by at least a dozen dragons. To attack Parthenax would have been suicide. I might be the dragonborn, but to take on twelve dragons at once? I don't think that's even possible. I'm afraid she's right. I'm deeply sorry that this has to come between us. But just as Parthenax's later deeds do not expiate his crimes, your deeds do not allow us to ignore our duty. <laughs> I hope you will return to us soon with the news that justice has finally been done. With both Alduin and Parthenax dead, a dark chapter in history will finally be closed. Very well, it seems I'm left with no choice. Before I go, though, is there anything over here that I might yes, be interested in? I'm just checking. You might have some spell tome or something that uh, I could use. All right. Let me travel back to the throat of the world, maybe. Pothanax Company has left. Hmm, 
I don't even have a any notes on Parthenax. It's like it's over. He might not even be at the throat of the world. Let's go see. Oh, see, this is what I was afraid of. That was not Parthenax. But it does seem that most of the dragons are gone. All right. Drem your look. Greetings. I'm saddened to come here to share this news. But the blades say you deserve to die. The blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. Why shouldn't they trust you? Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? <laughs> I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Only Khan Neov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zin Griforvut se suyek. What is better, to be born good? Or to overcome your evil nature through great effort. To be born good. Look, Thum. All right. You're not leaving me with much choice. I'm sorry. Look! Speak. I will listen. There's no more listening. There's only fighting. It's over. Parthenax is dead. Nothing special hidden under his scales. All right, now I can return back to Delphine. At least those guards aren't here any longer. Delphine? No. Who are you? Have you ever caught a tiger by the toe? Bad move. I see Delphine wasn't kidding when she said this place needed tidying up. Oh, oh no, she's That's fine. what happens when you leave a home to dust and age. Although I think most of this mess can't be more than a week old. <laughs> she hired a housekeeper? Who made this mess? If I had to take a guess, 
I'd say it was Delphine herself that made it, as Ben's too bookish to be tossing things around on the floor like a skeever. <laughs> Not that I'd ever cross Delphine. Oh no, a delicate flower like me has no business talking back to someone with such big feet. <laughs> I'm bound to get trampled, and then poor Esben wouldn't have anything to stare at. Well, other than that delightful little wall. Alright. Are you a blade? No. Are you a broom? Well, if you are, you're upside down. The bristles go on the floor, sweetie. And they say I'm the one who's mad. Hmm. Well, not the kind of mad where I need to be locked in a dungeon or anything like that. Just the sort of mad where no one would believe me if I said there were a bunch of elderly dragon slayers living in a temple behind a giant face. I see your point. So what are your responsibilities here? Delphine said my only responsibility was to be myself. Seeing as I love food and have had a lifelong feud with dust, I mostly cook and clean. I did as much for Einathach when I was staying in Carthwaston, small town to the north of here. Used to be a big town before all the business with the Forsworn. It'll take some time but it'll grow back, like a lizard's tail, or an Argonian's. If I had a tail, I'd put a little bow on it. I could use it to sweep too, like having three arms and eyes in the back of your head. Hmm. All right, well, you seem to be doing admirable work. I'm glad to have you here, at the temple. I'm glad you're here too, and if you don't mind putting a good word for me with Esben, I'd appreciate it. He thinks highly of you, and I of him. Tell me about yourself. I don't mean to be rude, but when you're my age, there's a lot of yourself to tell, and you're likely to fall asleep halfway through telling it. <laughs> if I had to sum my existence up in a neat little recipe, I'd say I'm one ounce of grit, two teaspoons of optimism, and a dash of stubbornness. Not stubborn the way Esben is about his beliefs. Although I do find that attractive in some men. Usually the handsome ones. But I'm only stubborn when it comes to habits. Can't give them up, which can be a problem, depending on the habit. What sort of habits? For instance, I used to grind my back teeth <laughs> like some helpless schoolmer addict. But now I don't. Mostly on account of them falling out. Mm. That's how you kick a bad habit. It's like if you want to stop a horse. You ride it faster and faster until it drops dead. Not that I'd recommend ever riding horses. Never, I repeat, never trust anything that sleeps standing up. Mm. All right, or... You could just pull the reins to stop the horse. That works too. That's what they've told me. But seeing as I've never actually ridden a horse, I don't know if it'd work. <laughs> but I could never muster up the courage to try, given that I weigh a couple of ounces soaking wet. You're quite the character. Is it Tel Aviv? don't know where Delphine found you. But, um, is there something on your mind? Tell me, how is it that the Kajits have all the fur and we Nords have skin? Elsewhere is a bloody desert, and this place is all snow. It's backwards, I tell you. A conspiracy. There's reason enough to make me think the Divines hate us. <laughs> Ah. Uh, well, I mean, I can't argue 
with that. I mean, you do make a good point. It does seem backwards. Don't tell that to me. Tell that to the divines the next time you pray at one of their altars. Very well. If only they were more helpful. Well, they've been more than helpful for me. So why don't you find them helpful? They'll just try and cure you of disease, even though you ain't got one. Like a bunch of idiot alchemists, all nine of them. Kynareth. Why haven't you given rain to my crops? Well, I don't know. How about I cure your diseases and we call it even? Mara, will I ever find true love? Probably not, but at least I can cure whatever that bandit gave you last night. Oh my goodness. Oh, they mean well, but good intentions are like having children. They never quite turn out the way you want. Mm. Ah, Stendar's mercy. You are quite the character. Until next time. Yes. So, speaking of Esbern and Delphine, where are they? Oh, what's this sword? Is this something? Oh, just a wreck. Why is this stealing? I don't belong here now? Is that what I'm being told? Let's see, I think there is a area here that I have not explored. Let's see. There is. But I still am not finding Esbern or Delphine. Have they gone out? Perhaps stocking up on supplies? It looks like they're going to make this their home. Let me try the courtyard. Maybe they're there. I caught a glimpse of someone standing over there, and I think it was Esbern. Why are they hiding from me? Ah, meditating. Esbern? You shouldn't be here, no. unless you decided to bring Parthenax to justice. Uh, well, I did. About Parthenax. I wish there were another way, Dragonborn, but it falls to you to serve justice upon Parthenax. But, but I did. It's done. Parthenax is dead. At long last, an ancient evil is avenged. The shades of many blades salute you this day. Ah, at last. Any advice for fighting dragons? You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. All right, then. So what you're telling me is that the dragons haven't really left. The ones that have been brought back to life are still out there and will need to destroy them. I'm disappointed to hear that, but all right. That's all. Hmm? That's it. Where's Delphine? I wanted to talk to her and let her know the good news, but I suppose you can tell her. When you see her, she not... Not anywhere around. I think, um... Well, I can go back in here and look one final time. Well, there appears to be no sign of Delphine. I suppose I'll have to talk to her the next time that I visit.